Welcome to UCG. We're here today to look at the Siemens Autonomous Sailboat, a robotic boat that UCD engineers are currently working on that will be able to think for itself and use renewable energy. We took a standard greater control yacht and then we had to add sensory uh, inputs to let us uh, drive the boat autonomously. So we've taken wind direction um, as one primary input. At the back of the boat we have a boat speed sensor which we designed and built. And inserted into the centre of the hull we have a heel sensor and uh, a directional compass. So we have directional uh, heading for the boat, heel angle of the boat, uh, boat speed and wind speed. And there are primary inputs that the software uses to maintain course and heading. Um, the, on the other, the larger boat will have a more intelligent computer running Linux, full on Linux. And uh, it will have possibly, there's a possibility of a webcam. Now, what you're seeing now is the boat just basically got into the dead zone so it had no traction so now it's getting out of that again and basically I've given it a course that's too close to the wind mm -hmm. so it's uh, very difficult any sailor would know that so uh, it's trying its best. I mean, it's a very important project for Siemens. The Irish economy uh, is, is facing skill shortages in terms of engineering and what we at Siemens want to do is to show uh, how attractive science and engineering is as, as a profession and uh, this is a great example of learning by doing. Uh, we want to show uh, how we can uh, make very practical applications, particularly in the area of renewable energy and uh, clearly that's the way forward for us as a country and, and for us as a country. Well, as it stands, it's a basic training boat we've taken and the project is to make it autonomous sailing, like controlling itself, taking in information about its surroundings and reacting. So, starting from the back here, we've got uh, the rudder which is used for steering the boat and we've got a tiller pilot here which can control the position of it based on feedback from the sensors. And here we have the mainsail which is controlled by an actuator here which lets it in and out. As you can see there, that's the GPS sensor, it tells us where it is in the world. And forward here we've got the actuator for the foresail which is this one here. Uh, it's a compass under there and all the electronics are fed back into the box here with a little PC that analyzes, can feed all the data back to us and make the decisions. The idea is that no man will actually control the boat at all. Simon before mentioned that all of the data acquisition, everything, wind direction, speed and all of that is all fed into a computer. And what I've just done here is I've used this to wireless into it. There's absolutely no wired control here and we have all of the information feeding into this at the moment. Ultimately, at the moment we're gathering uh, data about how people sail and that sort of motion. Ultimately, all of this information will feed into one sort of fuzzy logic program. The program will decide itself where to go and where it can go, where it can sail, and it will try and take the most advantageous tack. It's all in the development stage there now, but we have control, we have everything ourselves. So far we can manage everything and it can make some decisions. Well, to charge the batteries, um, we need to have uh, some sort of energy coming into the boat. So we have solar panels that go on either side of the boat and across the middle. And we're going to mount the wind turbine on the back of the boat as well, so we can pick up either solar or wind energy, depending on the weather, whichever one's better. Um, uh, basically, two final year projects we're working on these, one working on solar panels and one working on wind energy and ways to harbour each of them. UCD hope to get the first test in the boat next week and have it fully autonomous by the end of the summer. For Villa 81, I'm Emmett Ryan.